Naya. Yeah. We're here in Phoenix. You're homeless. You told me you've been homeless since 11. Right. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. But you know what? I choose to um, do this because I have an addiction that I can overcome, but it's just in time, you know? In time when I'm ready to quit because I'm not ready to um, quit right this moment, but in time I know I'll be ready to quit with God's will, and I wouldn't want to be wasting nobody else's time. But being out here on the street, though, it's really rough and it's hard, and uh, just let's make this real quick and simple. If you young ones are out there and you got a good family, and if, even if you don't, do it for yourselves to not try to come out here and mess your life up, because it, let me tell you one thing, it's not worth it. And struggling every day, it's hard. No, no, we're on the side of a road and there's a group of you girls that live back here. Right. How long have you been back there? We've been back here for about two weeks. You wow. know what I mean? It is, and, and we move around, you know what I mean? You can't just stay in one place for too long, you know? And we do our best to keep, you know, it clean and everything, you know? We've never, every, anywhere that me and I got a wife that we go, we always make sure we clean up. And before we go, we clean up. Right. So we're not really disrespecting, even though it's being, you know, trespassing. And it's not a good thing because you can't go to jail. But you got to do what you got to do. And now, how do you survive? How do I survive? I survive. I scrap, scrap cans, bottles, metal every day. I hustle every day. So there's no welfare general support here, is there? No, I, no, I have not from not no from, income no unless income you at all. unless you I scrap. I don't even get food stamps. Oh I'm my not, gosh. I'm not, yeah, I'm not eligible to ever get food stamps. See, that's what happens when you're you're a convicted felon. You can never get food stamps. So. I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. But I guess that's the way of life. I guess that's the way of America's rules, right? Yeah. So you, you hit the streets at 11. Yep. Did some time living the life. And yeah, and especially when uh, you're you're an addict, you know what I mean? This is what it leads to. Yeah. You know? Oh my gosh. What's your future like? What's my future like? Uh, I, you know, I'm not, you know, regardless of who I am in my addiction, I'm not going to give up on myself. And, you know, I, I, God has a plan for me. It's not over. I'm not going to be out here forever. You know what I mean? No. But for you. Because yeah. earlier you were asking for help. So that's, yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah, you know what sign. I mean? That's... And I really, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I really, I'm tired of being out here. I'm tired of facing different people every day, different people that, that is, it's, it's unbelievable with people that don't know the meaning of respect. And that's one of the main things when you're out here on the, on the streets, you gotta have respect. If you don't have respect, not for yourself, then you know, it's, 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 it's really rough, you know, but me as a person that I am, and as I taught myself, as I've been on the street, I don't have enemies. And that's one of the main things, never to have enemies, you know, it's, it's not, you gotta love everybody, regardless. If, if you're in a, right or wrong or indifferent, if you're doing right, if you're doing wrong, if you're sober, yep. you know love what I mean? Love everybody. Yeah. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes. One, to win the lottery so I could give half to the world that doesn't have, and, the other second would be to give it to my mother and the rest for me. Yeah. That's one of my three big wishes. Well, the, the wish was the lottery. That's only one wish. You get oh, two okay. more. Two you more, get two, two more. more. Oh, my second one would be uh, to see everybody uh, be sober. That would be awesome, you know, to see how it would really be if everybody would be sober because living another life as a an addict is so totally different from being sober. Yeah. One more. This and um, my third wish would be for God to answer my prayers. Awesome. Which He does, though. He does. Yeah. Yeah. But I gotta meet Him halfway. But I wish He could just drop a miracle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And I'm he not gonna will. give up. He will. He will. Yeah. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah. I have 17 years sober. I was out here. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. what's up. Thank you very much for talking to me. Yeah, you're awesome, buddy. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. All right.